Bergen County Attorney Mike Smododowski watches Ukrainian TV to see how his homeland reacts to the news of the ceasefire reached in Minsk, Belarus, by the Russian ambassador and a former Ukrainian president. One reaction? We all know whatever Russia signs will never, never be followed if it's not to their advantage. With respect to uh, the ceasefire agreement, obviously we are hopeful, but based on past experience, also skeptical. President Obama met with fellow NATO leaders in Wales and announced the creation of a rapid response force set in Eastern Europe. An increased presence serves as the most effective deterrent. The president said NATO skeptical of the ceasefire, but also said it only came about because of the huge impact of economic sanctions on Russia. Ukraine's president pushed for a stop in hostilities, even while Russia was still denying it has invaded Ukraine's sovereignty. Listen, how can anyone be against peace? How can anyone reject the fact that people must stop dying? Smododowski has plenty of doubts because as the ceasefire agreement was being inked, the fighting was still taking place in one Ukrainian city. Seton Hall University's Nathaniel Knight has studied Russia and Eastern Europe for years. Well, I think it's a positive development, uh, if for no other reason that it stops the bloodshed. At the same time, I think we need to be very cautious and not get our hopes up too high about what this means in the long run. Congressman Bill Pascrell says he still wants the U.S. to give defensive arms to Ukraine. They need the equipment to defend themselves. Smododowski says he agrees because Putin simply can't be trusted. Every single international agreement has been broken and you just don't undermine the bedrock upon which Euro European peace has been built. Ukrainian Americans say they have every reason not to trust this ceasefire, not just that it won't hold, but that it's worth anything, because they say Putin has proven every step of the way he's willing to do whatever he wants to do. Michael Hill, NJTV News.